do you not like that video? Well, you have to love that video. <laughs> okay, it looks real clear where we are now, it but is. there's there's stuff way out there, like over in St. Louis, that's headed our way. It is, and it's part of a developing storm system that looks to have a local impact not only tomorrow, but for the weekend, too. So we have lots to cover. Two rounds of storms possible tomorrow with that threat for severe weather. First round forecast to develop after midnight, so the early part of tomorrow morning. Uh, rough estimate 2 a.m. to 10 a.m. for this first round of storms with severe winds possible. Then we're forecasting additional storms to develop and that potential for a round of severe weather. 3 p.m. to about 9 p.m. If we get more sunshine during the day tomorrow, that will destabilize the atmosphere and increase that threat for severe weather. I'll have the timeline with Future Track 13 in just a second. 76 degrees right now in Indianapolis. Winds are south southeast at 8. Today's high temperature, 88 degrees. Our low this morning dropped to 66. No rain in central Indiana, but unfortunately, they have been dealing with severe weather tornadoes. We showed you that at the top of the newscast. Across Across parts of Iowa, a severe wind gusts across portions of Missouri. Severe thunderstorm watch in effect for southwest Illinois. That's the only watch close to home at this point. And those storms will stay out to our west for now. Increasing storm coverage, though, in our Friday forecast, along with that threat for severe weather. If you were with us last night, we were at a one or a two on our scale of one to five in terms of severe weather. Now most of us have been upgraded to a two. Damaging winds, large Hail will be the biggest threats. Can't rule out some localized flooding due to heavy rain that will be associated with the storms, and an isolated tornado also can't be ruled out. Now to the hour by hour timeline. Future Track 13, 1 a.m. storm still to our west. It'll be uh, closer to sunrise that we start to see the storms develop. This will be wave one. It moves out, but as the atmosphere destabilizes, we get additional storm development tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening. That's four o'clock on Friday afternoon. We'll stop it at 7 p.m. Again, these storms may reach strong to severe limits. Stay weather aware and stay with us. We'll keep you posted all day long on the storms center of this weather system. Unfortunately, it's going to stall just to our north and northeast. It will continue to spin rain chances our way, not only tomorrow, but Saturday and Sunday as well. So we're definitely going to have to work around rain chances for those outdoor plans this weekend. Scattered storms, 87. A few of those could be severe tomorrow. Upper 70s, close to 80. That will depend on coverage of the rain, but right now it looks like a pretty good chance for rain and storms both Saturday and Sunday. That chance will continue through the early part of next week.